Well, rapper and entertainer Kanye West appeared on David Letterman's Netflix show recently. While there, he said something pretty true, obviously true, but really said out loud. The American left has suddenly decided to bully the rest of us constantly. Watch. Have you ever been beat up in your high school for wearing the wrong hat? I just been beat up because people didn't like me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I know what you're. I know yeah. what you're saying. The idea is the bullying. Who's the bully in this scenario? Well, definitely liberals <laughs> bully people who are Trump supporters. It's not just calm. You can't just go and wear the hat. You can't just go. It's like, <laughs> you, <laughs> you. Like it's like, bro. Author and columnist Mark Stein often wears the hat and can speak directly to this. He joins us today. Hey, Mark, good to see you. What do you make of this? Well, I, I love I love these little, uh, uh, as you said, Kanye goes away and then he comes back. He's not, look, uh, I don't really like the idea of expanding the, uh, the encyclopedia of Republican celebrities. As far as I know, so right now it's got Pat Boone and one of the Oak Ridge Boys in it, and that's fine by me. But Kanye is making an important point here uh, that it's about the groupthink. And he doesn't see, that's, that's what he's on about. He doesn't see why he should get told the parameters within which he can think. And that's actually what's so sad and pathetic about the, the current crop of celebrities. They think they're edgy. They think they're transgressive. They're the least edgy and least transgressive generation of celebrities that's ever existed because they're terrified uh, to move a, 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 a sixteenth of an inch outside those parameters. That's right. And that's all he's saying. He's saying, look, I'm one of the richest, most successful celebrities on the planet. Why the hell can't I uh, think a little contrarianly for a, a, occasionally? They are, they are the most obedient little lemmings mm. ever. Yeah. They, they're the opposite of artists. So, but what would, what would truly transgressive look like in 2019? Well, I think I think truly transgressive actually would be uh, thinking outside the box, uh, the Hollywood box on something like immigration or diversity or any of the cliches of the age. And, and it's very actually it's very sad when you look at counterculture figures. A counterculture has to have a culture to be counter to. And the counterculture did such a good job that it's now the establishment. And it can't bear to see itself like that, which is why you have Robert De Niro and his excesses, right. uh, because exactly. he's actually got no, he won. He, he's got nothing to push against anymore. And, uh, and Kanye West, I, I think, is just saying, couldn't we at least recognize that celebrity life is more fun. Boring Hollywood dinner parties would be more fun if we uh, at least allowed two sides uh, to every issue instead of just, as you were doing with Richard, droning on about climate change and saving the planet. Can you imagine how boring uh, that would be uh, at a Hollywood uh, Beverly Hills? What, wouldn't it be great if uh, Kanye or one of his pals could say, well, you know, I don't think, uh, I don't think it's such a big deal. Uh, but they're not allowed to say that, and that's that really makes them the really mad Kanye's when you say that. Me. I've done that. I did that recently. Yeah. People don't like that. Yeah, no, great. they don't. They don't. There's only one side, and that makes boring art, boring pop culture. And whether or not Kanye is bonkers, I love him just for busting out of that occasionally. Exactly. Maybe he needs to be insane to do that. Mark Stein, great to see you tonight. Thank you. Hey, thanks a lot, Tucker.